uh, speaking of boxing matches, I know we always been friends, but I see an Instagram story get sent to me the other day of my ex-girlfriend trying to propose to you okay. on Instagram. What do you, I can't control what people say. Time to clock All right, so you missed this. <laughs> so you can't have him anymore. Wow. <laughs> 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 Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch it. All right, welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late and so are we. It's time to clock in. If you have not yet liked this video or subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that right now. A lot of stuff going on over the past month or so, some good, some bad, but none of which I want to address here on the Night Shift main channel. This channel is all about having fun, positivity, inspiration, and staying clocked the fuck in, and that's what we're gonna do right now. I haven't put gum under the impulsive set in so long and I miss it. Now I just throw it out into the middle of the street. When you look at me right now, what's the first thing you think of? Hair loss? No, I was gonna say, do I look very moisturized today? I've been moisturizing a lot. My skin looks good, right? Does it? Nice. As you guys know, a couple months ago, I paid about $3,000 to fly out an absolutely beautiful Costa Rican Instagram woman to Los Angeles. And by the time she got out here, I'd gotten COVID. It's one of the most, why is that open? I'm getting so, I'm gonna get hot. The coronavirus. Is there, is there one more name for it? COVID-19. COVID-19. She came through, she still stayed at the hotel, and then all of it blew up because we talked about it on Impulsive, and it actually ended up making front page news on the Costa Rican country newspaper. I'm not a fly out guy. Obviously there's enough beautiful women here in Los Angeles, but I thought it would be a fun exercise for the night shift. And honestly, I was kind of upset when I didn't get to see her. Why am I sitting in the car right now? Because she just hit me up and she is in Los Angeles, boys and girls. She came back and we are going to meet her for the first time. I don't usually get like this when meeting new girls, but there's so much hype around this one just because we built it up so much. What if she's her, what if I meet her and she's like seven feet tall? What if she's a dude? What if she's a fucking dude, bro? Did you ever think about that before? She just walks out, catfishes me, mm. seven feet tall, minute bowl type shit, punches me in the fucking face like on some Floyd Mayweather shit. Just grab that day. She's right there. Damn, I already seen her. She's not a dude, bro. She's not a dude. And now a word from our sponsors. Ooh, nobody likes to get blue balled. We're so close, too. Things taking too long, that sucks. Things happening way too fast, that sucks even more. So if you're one of those guys that gets a little bit too excited about sex, you need to check out Roman Swipes. You just pop it out the package, swipe it on your guy, let it dry, and boom, no more two pump chum. The best part, you don't need a prescription for swipes and Roman will ship them to your door in unmarked packaging. So go to getroman.com forward slash Mike to get $10 off your first order of swipes and free two day shipping. Now let's get back into the night shift, baby. <laughs> dude, dude. I have to wear a mask here. What's so, up? Good to meet you officially nice in person. To meet you too. You're short. I'm short, yeah. Did you think she was gonna be this short? No. That's dope. I think we were like kind of uh, yeah, <laughs> You got the same eye. Chill. So what brings you back to LA on this run? Um I'm doing some call ups and shootings and all that. Did you say you were involved in the shooting? Is that what you said? Yeah, I was uh, shooting with Budinella. I thought you meant a gang shooting at first. Oh, no. but, okay, cool, cool, cool. I just didn't know like what you had to know about the type of work you did. <laughs> so you you ran into Harry Jowsey at the at the nightclub. We were with a bunch like of friends, and he was there. He's like, "Hey, how? You, what are you doing here?" I'm like, uh, "Coloring with Mike in a video," and he's like. Oh, that's amazing. Let's send him a selfie. That was all. I don't know what you said to Paul. So that's <laughs> To Paul. Paul. <laughs> to Paul. Paul Logan. Listen, here's the deal. I'm laying in bed with COVID and I see this beautiful woman that I've flown in from Costa Rica with Harry Jowsey. We weren't alone. We were like with a bunch of people. Can you tell me in Spanish what your favorite dishes are at Costa Rican or Cuban food? Bueno, a nosotros nos encanta comer gallo pinto para el desayuno, que es como gallo pinto con huevos, plátano maduro, muchos carbohidratos, una proteína, ya sea carne, pollo, pescado. <laughs> David's warned me about Latina chicks, dude. They're too David spicy. David said they're a little bit too spicy. Yeah, you don't want to see a Latina angry. So that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's, we're at this Cuban spot. It's called Versailles. Is that how you pronounce Versailles. it? Versailles. Versailles. She said, yo, white boy, shut the fuck up. I'm a order. I swear to God, we didn't shoot the whole fucking time. As soon as we started shooting, there's a, a, a no. thing of bumblebees. Who you got? Uh, Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather. Oh, I'm sorry, Paul. <laughs> uh -huh. Logan's got but, a chance, but right? But Logan has a chance. He's been preparing Floyd Mayweather too, so it's gonna be tough. Look at this. No, but you have to put like the rice, the beans okay. there, los frijoles encima del arroz. I need this kind of mom type shit in my life, yeah? <laughs> All of it on one bite. It's delicious. Like, <laughs> All right, so wait, can you come here? So uh, this has been great. It's been really cool getting to know you. You're getting 
sentimental now? Yeah, a little bit. I just feel like, you know, after all the back and forth we've had online, it's just been, it's been good to finally get a chance to, to hang out with you, you know? Is this Pura Vida right now? You have to say Pura Vida. Pura Vida. Pura Vida Mai. Pura Vida Mai. Mai, what a great life. Oh, yeah. Is that what that means? Oh, I didn't fucking know that. That was good. That was really good. After this episode, you guys are going to let me know in the comments below if I should go to Costa Rica for another episode with the beautiful Danny Torres. Guys, say yes, please. He needs to come to Costa Rica soon. <laughs> Drop it below. So I was just leaving the place with the uh, chick from Costa Rica, and I see this fucking guy. Okay, no, that's not how it happened, actually. I saw him walking into this store, this overly priced store for fucking bougie influencers. And I said, stay where you are. And I fucking showed up and I spooked him. Like, he uh, did. He scared me, bro. I'll find you. I'll fucking find you. And normally <laughs> when I see Jeff, I'm like, yo, Jeff, like same hood as me, like my kind of guy. But now I just asked for an autograph because all his videos got like 6 million views on him. He's blowing up, dude. He's making his former predecessor. You outshine the master. What do you mean? What do you mean First by that? rule, 48 laws of power. Never outshine the master. You're getting more views than David because David doesn't get any views. Oh. Life 50 cent. I got fucking shot and now my career fucking and took off. That excavator was the bullet that shot me nine times. <laughs> Bro, you can't let things fucking set you back in life, you know? I know you're all expecting me to disappear or something, you know, I got my face a little messed up and scratched up, but I'm not. I'm coming back stronger than ever. I'll Whoa. fucking, after this, me and you will have a boxing match for a make a couple hundred what? mil. Speaking of boxing matches, I know we always been friends, but I see an Instagram story get sent to me the other day and my ex-girlfriend trying to propose to you okay. on Instagram. What do you, I can't control what people say. And this is what she said. She said, I'm I'm trying to get with Jeff Wittick, but every time I DM him, he tells Mike. What What do you want to do? You want to fight right. for that? He's such guy? a good guy, dude. He messaged me. He's like, hey, man, your ex is trying Can to tell, like, what do I... you me on camera over that? You should be fucking... No, I wasn't just... Like, Jeff, my boy, thank you for being a fucking real loyal friend. All right, fine, Jeff. You know what I said to her? You know what I said to her? I said, you should... Be grateful that I'm such a loyal friend. Yeah, I don't really see you as like a, that kind of. That's not really your type of. What do you think he is? More like like rail thin, like coke sniffing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Bro, I want an athlete. I want to date Valentina Chevchenko from the UFC. Valentina Chevchenko, if you're watching this. There, that might be her. Yeah, right Valentina. Bro, Valentina Chevchenko <laughs> from the UFC. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was her! You know who's my favorite? Rose Namajunas, but she's married and I respect her her husband, Pat, Pat, uh, right. Pat Rat? I don't know what his last Pat, name. He called him Pat the Rat. <laughs> he said he was sex or called him Pat the Rat. But Valentina, I think she's single, so I'm going after her. I want to repopulate and have a UFC fighting baby. I'm going to train her from birth. Two perfect eyes, because they don't have a fucked up eye yet. Here we go. This place right here is where Jeff's going to get his cryotherapy. Supposedly, if you freeze your balls long enough, it gives your optic nerve a fucking shock therapy. <laughs> it makes you feel like see you again. And by the way, he's not a white supremacist. I just show <laughs> your head. If you're not a white supremacist, you'll have hair. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> Oh, there's a stupid haircut. What the fuck, Jeff? What a fucking guy, dude. Jeff Wittick, overall loved by everyone right now. You never thought you were gonna see a comeback like that. Kids on top of the world, you love to see it. Last week's video just came out today when you're watching this, and Aiden wanted to do like a reaction video with Emily. So Hello. she's back at the house, and I wanted to have Rice explain to her. Rice, what is it like for a girl on twi on a Twitch stream? She has like a platform a lot of gamers on No, there. come on, Rice. Not They'll like see sunlight, so like, A is like, boom. They don't see sunlight. Males, just hella <laughs> males. He's gonna tag you, males is going up. You're gonna crush it, and from Aiden's stream, like her shit's gonna pop. Oh yeah, no, he's number one right now. He was number one. <laughs> he's number one, <laughs> number one, number one, number one. So who can catch all these coins? <laughs> <laughs> First shot of the day, dude. Yes! Hey, nice. Hey, Emily, how you doing? I'm doing good. Yo, what up, Mike? Long time no see. Yeah, for real. I'm already live. I'm live right now. Oh, yeah, I know, shit. I know. Wager, what are you doing, step bro? Ah! <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> That's cool. I like sex, too. Yeah? Yeah. What kind of sucks? Uh, you know, I like everything. I like, you know, anal's my favorite. Anal's your favorite? Yeah, I mean, I'm not. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Yo, wait, hold on a second. Yo, chat, I, I didn't mean it that. like that. All right, guys, we're coming down to the end of another episode of The Night Shift. If you haven't yet liked this video or subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that right now. I just want to take a quick second right now just to say thank you to um, all of the people who have rode with me for the past two months, uh, even for the past two years. All of the uh, people who watch the content, watch The Night Shift, the streams, have read the book. And most importantly, all the people who have sent me messages over the past uh, three to four weeks. Um, 
I really have been uh, kind of going through it and dealing with a lot of shit, and it has had an effect on my mental. And those messages have um, have helped tremendously to to keep me in the fucking game, keep me going, keeping me cranking content, and um, and just staying in like a semi positive mindset at least. So. I just wanted to shout out everybody who's been there, continues to support me, um, and I just want to say thank you to everybody who um, is being patient. I don't want to drag and bog down this channel and turn it into some other fucking YouTube drama channel. This is a fun channel where we have a good time, we roll around, we eat good food, we meet cool people, and we hang out with some of the coolest other creators. So like, yeah, I don't know, I just wanted to say my piece. I guess uh, we'll continue to see how everything plays out, and uh, for now, that's it for today's episode of The Night Shift. Thank you so much for working late with us. We're clocking out. Peace.